And hello, everybody. My name is Tiago Carreira. Uh, I'm one of the volunteers that have been editing the, the videos for the talks. Um, and today I'm going to try to show you how I've been doing that, what softwares do I use, and what's the overall process. Uh, so um, I'll essentially be using two open, soft, uh, open source softwares. Uh, it's the Audacity for the, the sound um, and the KDN Live for editing the, the videos. And so without further ado, let's start. So I've been editing uh, a video previously, so I'm just going to create a new one, uh, 1080p uh, with four tracks for video and uh, audio as well. Um, and so I'll just create this project 1080p 25 FPS. Uh, and as you can see, it's a, an empty project. Um, so I will import, uh, yeah, these files here. I have two for the videos, the, the slides and the, the, the speaker video. Uh, and I'll just um, copy uh, everything um, to the to the project bin. Uh, sorry, here um, to here to the project bin, and let the KDN Live uh, import them. Uh, and we don't need this anymore. So. Um, I will uh, do two things in parallel. One is the, the, the video editing, and the other thing is the audio processing. Uh, and as this audio processing takes some time, I will do it in parallel. Uh, so I will just start uh, by reading the, the video that has also the audio. Um, and I'll let it, uh, I'll let it process. Um, and while it is processing, I will just keep editing my video. So the first thing that I'm going to do uh, is import the, the title to this top layer. Um, and the title is just the, the title of the, the, the presentation that I'm editing. I'll edit the Ubuntu Touch UX and design guidelines from Joe and Cybership. And the second thing I'll need to import uh, is this sponsor slides. Uh, it's part of the contract, so I have to do it. The first thing I'm going to do uh, is editing the duration of uh, one of each slides from the, for the, the sponsors. So they will have two seconds each of duration. And so I'll edit it, I'll edit it here and here. So duration two seconds. The default is five seconds here. So the first title has five seconds of duration. And then each of these will have two seconds. And the last thing, uh, not the last, but the next thing I'm going to import, uh, it's uh, the, the most foreground and uh, most background layer. Uh, it's this uh, background slide. This uh, have the the title here and just the, the logo for the Ubucon Europe, and I'll keep it here. So let's pause the uh, the video editing and let's see. Let's look at the the audio that we have here. So shouldn't be there. It's not so bad. It's we not have bad. we have audio that's pretty much uh, very good already. Uh, but some other videos that uh, I was editing were not so good, and so I'm going to replicate uh, more or less the same steps that usually I do. So as you can see, we have the left channel and the right channel here, but one of them is empty. So the first thing that I'm going to do is split stereo to mono and remove the empty track. And uh, so we have the audio on a, a stereo track. Yes, right question. Yes, questions. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the, the audio and apply an effect of amplify. 
this was already quite good, uh, but some other tracks were not. So I'm going to ju do just uh, trial and error. I think this one uh, for three decibels uh, is good. And I'm going to amplify it. And uh, yeah, um, the the most part of it, it's, it's around this uh, 50, 80% uh, top. Um, so it's quite good. The next thing I need to, to do is apply the, this uh, noise reduction filter. Uh, what does it make? Uh, so let's select uh, a little bit of, uh, of audio uh, without uh, too much sound, so a silent part. Uh, I'm going to select this part. It's, uh, it's quite good, I think, for what I want. So. As you can see, although there is no one speaking, you can listen a noise. Maybe you have to, to put your volume on the max to, to hear it, but it's like a fan noise. And Audacity is really good uh, in removing this. So in order to apply this noise reduction filter, uh, we have two steps. The first step is selecting the, the silent part and get a noise profile. And the next step is selecting the whole file and go to effects, noise reduction, and uh, reduce the noise and apply OK. So it will process. And in the meantime, we will go back to, to the video editing. So we already have the, those placeholder slides. Uh, and I'm going to uh, put here, import the, the, the videos themselves. So here I have the track with the speakers um, with the speakers video and I'm gonna put them here on the second layer and here I have the slides that were recorded uh, and they will stay here on the next layer so <coughs> the top layer will have the this uh, the speakers video and next layer will have the slides. Uh, but uh, this is very not on the places that I want. Um, these are the places that I want. So I have here the, a blueprint with these uh, values here. Uh, I hope you, you can see it. Uh, so these values here will be my guidelines for, for editing the, the video. Um, and I will move this to another screen that you will not see, but uh, I'm going to apply this, uh, these values that you saw uh, in order to, um, to put them, uh, the, the slides and the, the speaker on the place that I want. So first I'm going to apply to the, uh, these, uh, these settings to the, um, the slides. So. I'm going to select the, the slides uh, video track, and I'm going to apply this uh, transform um, filter. What this does, I double click here, and it appears here on the defect. So I'm going to select those values that uh, I had in the, the blueprint, and here, and here, then 720. So this is in 720p. Uh, um, and uh, this is already on the place that I want. Um, as you can see in the, the, this blueprint, uh, it's on the top left corner. Uh, and then I'm going to move the, I'm going to do the same with different values for uh, this speaker's track. Um, so it's, one two six two six eight eight six oh eight and three four two and apply the distort so here as you can see uh, i already have those uh, tracks on the right place so before i continue let me just save my my project uh, so that uh, <laughs> I don't lose it. So I'll edit in the server sheet one. So this will be enough. So let's pause the video editing again. 
and let's go to the audio processing. So as you can hear now, this silent uh, does not have the that, that loud uh, fan noise. Uh, it's uh, it's better. Yeah, and I'm gonna export this audio. Uh, this audio is quite good already, so I don't need to, to process uh, any anymore. And yeah, let me put it here next to the next to the the other sources, and uh, it will take a little time. So I'll just go back to the to the video editing. So next. I need to synchronize the the slides and the, the the speaker. So how do I do that? I usually, as I can see the slides uh, here on the speaker's camera, I'm just gonna try to to find uh, a transition place that I can identify here, uh, and then I will try to synchronize them by hand. So here I can see. Uh, a transition of the slide so mm, I hope I can see them here uh, if I cannot it will be really bad uh, okay yeah I'm just on the wrong place so let me try to find um, that so this will be the the worst part editing it by hand uh, but uh, i have to do it anyway so uh, let's see a slide that i can identify so i'm looking at here uh, and this is the this layer the second the v3 layer actually and i'm gonna skip it to wait i'm gonna uh, try to find uh, where it does the transition again this is really a boring part uh, and yes i found it here and then i have to to do it uh, to synchronize with the the slides uh, part so i have here the the about me it's the second uh, slide that I want, uh, and this is the first slide. So I'm gonna uh, press Shift and the right arrow, so it advances uh, one second, I think. And you can see in this one second, I've passed uh, from the the first slide to the second. So I'm just gonna zoom in here, so I can find to uh, the second slide is here. So let's uh, go again and press shift left arrow so the first slide is here and uh, i'm just gonna do this manually until i find the the right spot um and this is it essentially it's really a boring part but it has to be done because uh, if i add how audio on the 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 um, slides track it would be easier because I would just synchronize the, the audio, audio waveforms. Uh, but since I don't have it, uh, I have to do it manually uh, by looking at it. So here it's more or less synchronous. And it's still not synchronous as I want. And so maybe like that. But yeah, it's pretty much synchronous right now. Uh, on top of this, my computer, it's not the, the most optimal one for this task. Um, so it's, it's not very good, but yeah, uh, it's more or less synchronous now. But first of all, Let's just put some delay here. Yeah. <coughs> so, but first of all, we can assume that the, the slides all, are already uh, synchronous. I'm just going to extend this 
that I get it before. And right now, um, so GLU is already exported. So I'm just going to import it uh, to the KDN Live again. So this is the file that I generated with the Audacity. And it's importing now. Uh, and as it will import, let me do another uh, task that I have to do. So I'm going to now identify uh, where's, where's the beginning of the, the talk uh, itself. Um, and I'll do that by hearing the audio. And so here uh, it is the, the root root uh, is introducing the, um, the next speaker. And so she is speaking, and um, I'm going to find the place that the uh, service ship uh, starts talking. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, thanks for coming. So I will try to, to find this thank you part. So uh, it's this part. Uh, I think it's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Yeah, this thank you. It's here, I think. Welcome, thank you. Yeah, here. So I'll just get everything until here that we don't need. We can discard it. And I can move this to the, the beginning of the um, uh, on the uh, on the place that I want them to to begin. So uh, it is like this. The first five seconds are just the the title slide, and then after five seconds, it will start. Uh, we will start Thank listening to the to the speaker and still uh, see the sponsors. We, um, actually and it, it will be like this. So. Five seconds with the speakers, then with the title, then we start hearing the speaker and uh, while the sponsors are, are showing. <coughs> so uh, the next step will be to have our edited uh, audio source. So uh, right now they are not synchronous, uh, so I have to, to synchronize them. So. As I cut the, the the first part, I will synchronize with uh, more or less with the end. Yeah, it's more or less uh, on the same place, more or less. Uh, but then after exporting it, uh, it will not be on the. Uh, it will not have the the same length as the original one. So I have to to do a, a manual synchron sync after importing from Audacity. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'm looking at these waveforms and I'm going to synchronize more or less with the, the, the original waveform. Um, and for that, I need to, to do a zoom in. Um, and let's hope I don't break my software again. Uh, and here we can see more or less these waveforms uh, match um, with this. So here we can see uh, it's more or less uh, a match. So in order to to check that it really does match, I'm gonna just play it and listen. Thanks for coming to this thing yeah. that we. We can hear more or less like an echo because we have the both uh, both tracks on. Uh, but if I just mute this one, I can hear. Thanks for coming to this thing that we hear loud and clear, and uh, that's what we want. Uh, so if we listen to the other one, coming to this thing that we um, actually. So if you listen carefully, you can listen on this original one. We have that fan uh, noise uh, that we don't want. Uh, and this one, it's more clear, uh, more clear sound that doesn't have that noise, background noise. 
Welcome, thanks for coming to this thing that we... So, let's, uh, let's remove this unwanted uh, audio track. So, uh, in order to remove the, just the audio, not the, the, the grouped uh, video part, I'm gonna ungroup this and then delete it, and this as well. Um, so, we have it more or less. The, the beginning part is already uh, on the spot that we want. So if we play it, Thank you. it will start speaking <laughs> Welcome, here, thanks. Uh, where we want it. So there are two more filters, or three, uh, more filters that I need to apply here uh, on the audio track. One of them is the normalized filter. Uh, it will help on those quiet uh, parts uh, that uh, we can hear uh, when the speaker talks uh, far away from the mi microphone. Um, so um, from trial and error, I, I can use these values uh, that I've previously used on the other editings. And the other filters that I need to apply is um, the fade in and fade out uh, filters. Uh, so this fade in, uh, will apply on the beginning, so uh, we don't uh, burst, uh, we don't blast sound to our uh, ears um, on, from silence to, to 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 full volume. So here, Thank you. <laughs> we can start listening. Welcome, uh, thanks for. We can start hearing it more smoothly, more smooth. Uh, so the next thing. So I'm just gonna move uh, this background uh, slides until the end. Um, actually, until the end. The next thing I'm gonna do is find where the end is. So I will identify the end of the talk by the, the applause, I hope. So it's probably here, around here. One last question. I know you love colors and discussion about icons. <laughs> okay, so group photo, half past two. Don't forget, don't be. Oh, actually, I don't have an applause here. That's quite odd, and I will have to improvise. It's, right actually, now. it's orange so. <laughs> <laughs> because it's our tele Telegram app. So, thank you. I'll pass on the message. So I will use that. One last question. Thank you. I will use that thank you as a cue to stop it because we don't have an applause here. Uh, usually there is an, an applause after every talk. Probably it was after this uh, and the recording was cut uh, before the applause. Uh, but I'm going to improvise anyway with what I have here. So the thank you. Thank you. I'll... So it is more or less here. Uh, and so I'm just going to cut uh, until here. So this will be our ending audio. So thank you. I'll pass on the mess. Uh, I need more than that. Sorry. I get it too much. And like this. I'll... Pass on the message. Okay. It will be good enough. And let's get also the, the, the video part. We don't need it further. So what is the process of ending the this editing? Um, so the process is adding also a fade out here. Uh, it's nice. Usually, we have we can have a, a fading out applause. This one will not have. Let me check if if it's still okay using it. So thank you. I'll pass on the message. Okay, it's still okay. Uh, let me zoom in here. And how do I finish uh, this thing? So I'll add. 
and the, the ending with uh, 10 seconds of the last of the the, the slide the, the title slide um, the slide will start uh, just a little before the the, the thank you um, let me check if this Send one the is telegram good. up so thank you I'll... so a little after what I put it uh, so here will be a, a good place to start and uh, as we don't want this rush transition uh, oh, thank you. Like, like this, we will add uh, a smooth transition that we can apply by clicking here on this corner uh, and add a composition. And it will do it uh, just automatically. And right now we have this Telegram app. smooth transition. Oh, thank you. I'll the pass on line. the message. OK. And this is it, actually. This is uh, the, the, the most difficult part. The last, uh, really last uh, thing that we need to do uh, is just export the, the, the video. So um, the export is here on the render. Uh, I can just press Control Return. And I will need to select the output format as MP4 uh with this encoding uh with this codec uh h264 with acc audio and let's check more options i want to make sure that it is uh, 1080p and uh the other things are just fine um i'll just have to to put this uh on the right place uh, I'll put this here on the final um, upload. Uh, it will be something like the um, A1 uh, room uh, on the 12th day. Uh, I don't remember the time of it, uh, but let's put 99 uh, hours. And it was the Cybership um, editing, uh, Cybership video. So I'll just uh, click here to select where it will export. And then I will generate script. Uh, yeah, it can be this name. And um, then I would start editing uh, another video. Um, and only after editing all the videos that I want to edit on the current day, uh, at the end of the day, I will go to, to this script and this one uh, is the one that I just generated. And I will just start uh, all the scripts and when, uh, when at a time, and I will start scripts and they will uh, be on the job queue and they will process it during the night. Uh, each video takes, on my computer, it takes around one and a half hours, uh, depending on the, the um, duration of the talk itself. Uh, so it will take a long time on my computer. Uh, so I will let it do it during the night and I will not worry about it. Uh, and actually that's it. Uh, that's how I've been editing the, these videos. Uh, I hope this video is helpful for someone uh, on the next Ubucon uh, that will do the same thing. Uh, and thank you for watching. Bye.